Scientists at Portsmouth University say that our canine companions produce more facial movements when humans are paying attention to them, suggesting that they're actually trying to communicate with us. Apparently dogs are trying to talk to us. And the things they're saying are, I'm horny, <laughs> I'm hungry, walk me, and... <laughs> Pick that up. <laughs> I know I've just trodden in it, but I'd like you to pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it makes obvious sense. I could read a dog's mind just by looking at them. I just ate your cannabis plant. <laughs> I really love the Bake Off. <laughs> I've got a gambling problem. <laughs> and my personal favourite, sorry, Mum, I shouldn't have looked under your bed. <laughs> <laughs> now, talking of animals communicating, did you hear about this? Oh, it's lovely. Video has emerged as a joyous reaction of a 59-year-old ape when she was visited by the oldest human friend that she had during her dying days. Look at the moment she recognised him. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Mama? Yeah. 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 Oh, it's so lovely. Oh. I was glued to the hurricane footage. Look at the advice the police had to give some Americans. As Hurricane Irma hits Florida, local police are warning residents not to shoot at the storm. <laughs> Change the weather with a gun. <laughs> the rain is going to be like shit. He's got a piece. <laughs> Become drizzle. Become drizzle. <laughs> you can't hurt me. <laughs> For now, I am fog. <laughs> <laughs> it gets stranger. They weren't. Right. Thank you. But listen to this. It gets stranger. They weren't just shooting. They rescued dolphins, flamingos and pigs. Pigs, I get. Flamingos, I get. Dolphins? <laughs> Why are they airlifting dolphins? <laughs> Surely, if there's a flood, they're all right. <laughs> Shit, the water's risen. We need to get the fish to safety. <laughs> But do they need safe and their houses haven't been ruined? If anything, they've had an extension. <laughs> Just... Oh, look, look, there's a human. Pretend to be a shark. Pretend to be... What? Why, why am I getting lifted? I was just having some fun! I'll tell you what, if they're shooting clouds, what are they going to do when they see a dolphin in there? Just... <laughs> oh, my God, Dolph Nado. <laughs> Mad, isn't it? Man, did you hear about the hell-raising German donkey? A court in Germany is due to rule shortly in the case of a McLaren driver who's attempting to sue the owner of a donkey. He caused five grand's worth of damage. The excuse the donkey's owner gave was incredible. Police believe the donkey may have mistaken the bright orange car for a giant carrot. <laughs> yes, boys. Now, this may be one of the weirdest stories I've ever seen. Now, a man has survived a brush with death after his heart stopped when a 14-centimetre fish jumped down his throat and stopped him breathing. I picked it up off the floor, went to give it a kiss before I threw it back, and it literally... Imagine you squeeze a bar of soap, it shot out of my hand, into my mouth, and basically swam straight down my throat. <laughs> Feel that? Laughter. <laughs> <laughs> he nearly died and we were like, <laughs> Thank God he didn't. 
That funeral would have been brutal. Oh, come on, you know his mates would have taken the piss just there. God rest his soul. <laughs> he's, uh... He's gone to a batter place. <laughs> I can't believe he's gone. It's so shellfish. It's so... <laughs> so shellfish. <laughs> Apparently, he was in real trouble. He was in... <laughs> in fact, he was. Hello, Sky here. We apologise for the interruption, but Russell's fish puns went on for fucking ages. He was a trout and out legend! <laughs> I don't mean to carp on! <laughs> Seriously, he went on for hours. OK, he's finished now. No. Hang on. There's more. And he's done. Don't worry, he'll be back. Let's get battered! <laughs> A government official in Kenya says male lions having sex together must have copied it from gay men. <laughs> Let me repeat that. A... A man reckons male lions in a safari park have been having sex because they've copied it from gay men. <laughs> now, that begs the question, who the fuck <laughs> is brave enough <laughs> to go dogging in the Maasai Mara? <laughs> Just hurry on! Hurry on! <laughs> like... <laughs> Are they honestly suggesting two lions saw that with psst? <laughs> oh, <that's so> <laughs> a whim away, a whim away, a whim away, a whim away. <laughs> it's ridiculous. The only thing a lion would think if he saw that would be, why is my main course shagging my pudding? <laughs> It gets madder. Not only was this government official blaming gay men, listen to this, he went on to say the lions would need counselling to cure them of their sexuality. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see that, just a lion on the couch. I think the issues date back to my childhood. <laughs> you see, my uncle was killed by my father and I was raised by a meerkat and a war hog. <laughs> <laughs> if it hadn't been for a kuna matata, I don't know what I'd have done. <laughs> cure them of their sexuality. I say we get all the people who think being gay is an illness and send them in to cure the lions. <laughs> that be great? <laughs> Just num, num, num. <laughs> now, apparently, Sunday dinners could be deadly. Now, the beloved roast dinner could lose crisp roast potatoes in favour of paler, softer ones. Food Standards Agency says restaurants need to roast at lower temperatures to decrease the risk of cancer. Roast potatoes are going to kill us. <laughs> and I can feel that. I can feel the British reaction. Science is going, I can make you healthy. And Brits are like, suck my ball, science! <laughs> I'd rather die than not eat burnt food. <laughs> Not that everything in the news has been sad. I really, really love this story. Beloved pet gerbil Nibbles give an epic Viking funeral by his family. <laughs> Don't ah, oh, it's lovely. They put him in a mini longboat, set it on fire, and pushed it down the river. Because nothing says a goodbye like turning your gerbil into a flaming Zambuca. <laughs> Do you want to see it? It is majestic. I can see him now, sitting at the table in the halls of Valhalla, surrounded by Valkyries, quaffing mead from a drinking horn. So can I. <laughs> and it's gonna freak the shit out of all the other Vikings. <laughs> I am Ragnar from Uppsala. Nibbles, Glastonbury. <laughs> Tell me, Nibbles, did you die in battle? No. Roast potatoes. <laughs> well, Ragnar, take one of these. Keeps you solid for 36 hours. <laughs> Have a bite on that. That's why they call me Nibbles. <laughs> it's not just local news. The BBC was so bored of Brexit, they had a story about a massive cow. Knickers is the cow's name. Now, like many of the cows there, he was destined for the abattoir, but when his owner tried to sell him at auction, 
The meat processors said they couldn't take him as he's just too big. That is a big cow. He doesn't moo. He fucking roars. <laughs> he's massive. He shouldn't be called Knickers. He should be called Spanx. <laughs> Tell you what, let's see the EU put a nappy on that. <laughs> Now, my favourite thing about this story is definitely the way the Independent explained how much he weighed, right? He's £2,800, or as they put it, 14 and a half Danny DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> how brilliant is that? When did he become a unit of measurement? <laughs> I hope this takes off, just Attenborough. Here we see the blue whale, almost 4,000 times the size of Danny DeVito. <laughs> Just your mum a Christmas. Oh, I've had a big Christmas. I put on half a DeVito. <laughs> your dad did a Schwarzenegger in the toilet. <laughs> look at the handy advice we were given to look after dogs. Make sure they remain active with plenty of toys and puzzles indoors to prevent boredom. <laughs> Who gets their dog a puzzle? <laughs> it's snowing! Quick, get Rover a jigsaw! <laughs> did you finish your crossword? No! Because I can lick my own dick! <laughs> this is the one... This is the one that gets me. Just like you, your dog needs a coat. No, they don't! No! Look at this poor prick! <laughs> Look at the sadness in his eyes! Imagine the shit he's gonna get off other dogs. Oi, Rover, you look like a fortune teller! <laughs> She wants her tea cosy back. <laughs> Mind you, it's about to get much worse because apparently covering your dog's balls in glitter is now a trend. <laughs> Are you ready to faint? Here's what it looks like. Ah! Ah! Who ah! <laughs> vajazzles a dog's scrotum? <laughs> It gets even more horrific. The glitter is edible. Oh! How do they know? <laughs> Somerset MP has been strongly criticised for comparing Taunton to the war-torn Syrian city of Aleppo. <laughs> it's a bit unfair. Aleppo's all right. Now... <laughs> Aleppo is nothing like the West Country, and I've got proof. Here's a story from Devon that would never happen in Syria. A 49-year-old man has been arrested on suspicion of driving under the influence of drugs after swerving to avoid <laughs> octopus. <laughs> it gets better. That happened at 5.15 in the afternoon. <laughs> Nobody in Aleppo is off their tits before pointless. <laughs> Imagine the police. Any idea why I pulled you over? Cos you're a unicorn and your eyes are made of rainbows? <laughs> Drugs, ask your hippo. <laughs> this is my favourite quote. Officers said they found no evidence of an octopus <laughs> on the road. <laughs> Fucking CSI Devon. Scientists are warning today that insects could become extinct within 100 years. Poor guys, they're not taking it well. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, some people are helping. It's a nice looking flower you got there, Bumblebee. High five. Ooh, yeah. Others are going too far. Man dates cockroach for a year. <laughs> dates a cockroach. Or see lifting up rocks and pretending it's tinder. Just no, <laughs> no, no, yes. <laughs> Is he ashamed? No. He did an interview. Sex, sex, no, 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 We dated, but I didn't bang her. <laughs> I'm not a weirdo. <laughs> Can it get worse? Yeah. Look how their relationship ended. Well, I just, sadly, not not the people were quite shocked at that. But, well, it's going to come, right? Well, that's why, well, the other person is waiting for me. Well, that's why I thought about it. And then, finally, I ate some pizza. He fucking ate her. It's been the weirdest funeral ever. I'm going to miss you so much. <laughs> anti-Brexit cat to stand in general election. One lady whooping. 
you want to meet the candidate for Gillingham and Raynham? You know you do. <laughs> That's him. <laughs> Why? Why are you cheering? It's that. <laughs> that shows where we are in this country. Like, yeah, I'd vote for him, yeah. <laughs> They talk shit, he buries it. <laughs> if, he, if he gets elected, and let's not muck around, it's a big if. He's a cat. <laughs> but if he does, MPs, if you're watching, it is your duty. When Boris starts talking, just get out a laser pen. <laughs> <laughs> Put in there. <laughs> Mind you, when you think about it, cats and MPs are very similar. No loyalty. <laughs> a lot of them have two houses. <laughs> Keep showing up at your door with stuff you don't want. <laughs> and they're both massive arse lickers. <laughs> Did you see this? ITV reporter Debbie Edward tripped into wearing body armour to hold koala. She was told that koala bears are deadly. Watch this, it's brilliant. Um, oh keep them calm. Yeah. Everybody was Same. very, You're very worried little... about this. I'm trying not to be worried because I'm being told that he can sense if I'm worried. I'm not quite sure what it's doing right now. Oh, it's looking at... The, what? Okay. No, right. I thought he was going to get you. Yeah. Take it off, take it off, take it off. Please take it off me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's all right, it's all right. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Good work, Sam. Thanks, yeah. mate. Let's go. Here we go. You are kidding me! <laughs> You're kidding me! <laughs> <It's> fucking Aussie. <laughs>